What's up, YouTube? It's J Man and me, the jokester. And uh, in this video, we're going to do another uh, writing session for Jason's sitcom or <laughs> cartoon, is action adventure comedy sitcom cartoon, uh, The Koopalings and Bowser Jr. Show, which is a, a program about the villains from the Mario Brothers series, but it's a prequel. It's before they became evil. It's before they even knew Mario. It's all about their adventures. Uh, Bowser's kids and Bowser. And <clears throat> I don't know, I mean, uh, since last we did this, we're into season four now. Jason's written four seasons. We counted the other day. Jason's written uh, uh, over a hundred episodes of this show, and I want to stress that you write all this stuff. I there's maybe once or twice that I come up with an idea or a concept that you've picked. Everything you come up with all this stuff, right? Yeah, I'm. I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea. This this is all the J man, <coughs> and uh, you know, uh, hopefully, <coughs> Jay, you, how many seasons of this show do you want to write, Jay? Eight things <laughs> are fab so. Right. Yes, Jason wants to write eight seasons of the Kubelings and Bowser Jr. show, and then maybe we'll get in contact with N Nintendo and see if they want to produce it. Uh, <laughs> so, this is we're on episode 28 of season four, and we're just doing this video to show you uh, what it's like for two, for what it's like for a young man and his stepfather to, to write down an episode of uh, an unproduced sitcom. <laughs> Cartoon. You just you described the Bowser Jr. and Koopaling show as a classic Nickelodeon cartoon once. Is that still true? Yeah. Okay. And it's not a comedy exactly, but it has a lot of funny parts, right? Right. Okay. That's I think that's how they describe a uh, Star Wars, where there aren't there's not jokes, but there's humorous stuff. What's the title of this episode going to be, Jason? And. The hat Wendy. Idiot Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it already. <laughs> Me and boy at the phone. with more at Wendy. Yeah. Huh? I wanna do some cold stuff. Vague. That's a vague question. Some cool stuff. And I want the fat fat and. Odd quiet. Check out your <gasps> So <laughs> Iggy Koopa, their other brother, has a lab. He's the scientist, but Morton is going to go into the lab and invent something cool. So Iggy says yes, you can use my, use my lab, and then Morton invents the dumbifier. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing that's like, like a, a ray gun that makes you dumb. Yeah. And someone puts a in the I fell. Be 
dumb. So it's not just a clever name. <laughs> <coughs> My has to send the one tea and tea possess her. <laughs> so Morton uses the dumbifier to possess Wendy? Yeah. Okay. And the white teeth that I'm free! Now I can do the car for the lot. I was in her clown car. And and uh, oh, I do make Cooper. Mick Cooper, which is the uh, McDonald's <coughs> rip off at you. First of all, <laughs> when you say clown car, you mean like the little kind of like levitating spaceship type of thing that the Koopas fly around in sometimes. And Mick Koopa's is the McDonald's ripoff that you invented for this show. It's a very clever <coughs> McDonald's ripoff where you can get a Mick Koopa burger and some Koopa fries and everyone's favorite drink, Diet Dr. Koopa. Right? <coughs> and sad. <coughs> Hiya, Cooper. I will a jumbo cheese burger, two large fries, is very a large container of nuggets oh, <laughs> and a large diet Dr. Cooper. That's an enormous order of food. <laughs> Three containers of nugs. That's a meal unto itself. Well, then there's a pig. Morton is a pig? Wait, oh, so wait a minute. So Morton has possessed Wendy? Like, Morton's spirit is in Wendy? Is that what's happening? Yeah. Okay, so he hasn't really, ma he hasn't really made Wendy dumb so much as he's projected his soul or brains into her body. Which is, <laughs> he should come up with a different name for the dumbifier then, but we can fix that later. Oh, I see. Thanks for the meal, Cooper. Here. Five cents at ten dollars. Here's five cents and ten dollars. <laughs> I hope that that's enough for all this food.
Did, did Morton possess Wendy's body and go to McCoopers because he's been banned from McCoopers? Like, is he not allowed to go to McCoopers? They have like a big sign up. Don't let this guy in. He's a big slob and an idiot. <laughs> no. No. Uh, he just, he just yeah. Did it for the heck of it. One, two, one, two, two, two. Oh, God. Stop. Stop. You want to need to do all kinds of stuff like go eat lunch and then come home. <clears throat> now she said, Mama fire plants and Danish She starts eating Mama fire plants and Danishes? <laughs> no. Oh, Mama, so Danish is the um, Mama plant, Mama fire plant flavored? Yeah. Okay, that's weird. And <laughs> sounds like she's probably in a big stomach ache. <clears throat> Joe, there are fast ones. Are you feeling off? to respond to his question. You want to do something cool? His idea of something cool is uh, possessing his sister, making her eat a bunch of crap at McCoopa's against her will. It's not cool. I'd be angry if you did that to me, Jason. Yes. And... Hold on, let me, let me take a look inside, and look inside her mouth. <laughs> I'm going to 
No! Kill you! Oh! Oh! <coughs> yes! And... Now! What's the one who started to fail? Oh, I see that. It was... It was more than... More than... And I just wanted her to be... <laughs> Not a good defense, Morton. The end. The end. Well, well, a class, another classic episode, Jay Man. And I, and the next episode is, is Wendy gonna take Morton to court? Is she gonna sue Morton for emotional and physical distress from forcing her to eat three containers of nugs, <laughs> jumbo cheeseburger? <laughs> I would take you to court. If you did that to me, if you possessed me with a dumbifier and made me go to McDonald's and you made me eat two Big Macs and two orders of fries and three things of nuggets, and uh, you know, I know you'd make me eat other stuff like apple pies and an ice cream cone, then you, maybe you'd make me walk over to KFC and get some chicken. Anyway, I'd sue you. I'd sue you like crazy. In the final episode of the Kooplings, can you tell us, are, is that when they meet Mario and turn evil? Do they meet Mario and Luigi in the final episode and decide? No. Yeah. No? Okay. Well, we'll keep the mystery. He's a creative kid. And we love the J-Man. So let's say goodbye to the people now, J-Man. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> I like ba ba ba. I'm loving it.